Loveland, Colorado, the Sweetheart City, is well known for its Valentine remailing program each February, but there are a lot of other great reasons to visit Loveland. We're at the Museum of Loveland, and with us today is Susan Eisen, the Cultural Services Director. Well, the Loveland Museum and Gallery actually started as a collection in downtown Loveland by a shoe cobbler in the, in the 30s. Uh, his name was Harold Dunning, and he started collecting things from people in Loveland. And then in 1992, we did an expansion doubling the size of the, of the museum and turning it more into a half history and half art museum because of the growing artist colony in Loveland. Loveland was founded in 1881, so many of the exhibits focus on what it was like when Loveland was a growing and, and new community. Um, so we've recreated some of the old commercial district in um, around, around 1900. But then in this part of the gallery, which we call the Fireside Gallery, we have uh, changing history exhibits that feature items from the collection because we have about 35,000 objects in the collection and because the collection continues to grow, as I mentioned, it started in the 30s, but people still bring us things that represent Loveland both today and in, in the past. So it, like most museums, we usually don't have more than 10% of the exhibit, uh, of, of the items on exhibit at one time, and so this area allows us to rotate them. Then we acquired this, um, Alabaster House that used to sit on Highway 34. And then we have Mary Anna Medina's house, uh, part of his house. Some of it is the original timbers. And he was in Loveland pre-1881 and is the first historic documented settler in Loveland. We have a Great Western exhibit also, which features uh, an, an industry that was very important through Loveland throughout the whole 20th century. Then on the art gallery side, we have a, a small gallery downstairs and then our large art gallery. And we think of it as very eclectic. Um, we have artists from, sometimes they're international. We had an exhibit of India, Indian artists earlier this year. So we try to do exhibits that are high quality, that are things that people can't see in northern Colorado if we don't have it here. So it's very, uh, it's very eclectic. The museum is, is the organization that does all the Foot Lagoon concerts in the summertime. Uh, we do Battle of the Bands for the teenagers. We do the Halloween Fun Festival. We do Cherry Pie. We have art classes, programming. There's a lot of peripheral activities that are always involved. Uh, and we try to tie them in frequently to the exhibits that we're doing. And if people want to find out what's going on, you can either get on the website, which is thecityofloveland.org, we also do a printed calendar of events that comes out every three months and all you need to do is call and tell us you want to be on the list and we'll mail it to your home. Let's go now and meet Jan Sawyer, theater manager of the Rialto Theater. The Rialto Theater was the brainchild of a Loveland businessman named William Vereter and in 1919 he decided that Loveland needed a movie theater. We had some Nickelodeons here in town, but not a true movie theater. So he hired noted architect Robert K. Fuller to design the building, and it opened in May of 1920. And the Rialto functioned as a movie theater uh, until the mid-1970s. In 1977, the Rialto was converted into a mini mall of shops and offices. So basically, the interior was no longer recognizable as a theater. Um, uh, the uh, raked floor was made level with the stage. Uh, the balcony was built in. And so from uh, 77 to 87, the Rialto actually did not function as a theater or a community gathering place. In the mid-1980s, there was an economic development study done that basically said that the best thing for downtown Loveland would be to turn the Rialto back into a theater. So the Downtown Development Authority bought the building. A group called the Friends of the Rialto was formed to raise the money to renovate it. And it took them nine years um, to raise the funds and do the renovation, much of which was done by volunteers until we actually got to the, the renovation stage. And then the theater reopened in February of 1996. Now, instead of showing silent movies all the time, or even movies, um, the Rialto is primarily a live performance venue. All of our local community performing arts groups 
called the Rialto Home. So they do their season of productions here. We have the Loveland Choral Society, the Loveland Opera Theater, Up in Lights Productions. Um, we have a new uh, theater company, Moon Theater Company, that is beginning to use the Rialto to do their productions. Uh, we just had a wonderful production here by Canyon Concert Ballet. We would be thrilled to have folks come down and see a show here at the Rialto. Uh, we are we have something going all the time. Uh, last year we had 370 events in 365 days and uh, so there's something for everyone here. We have music, dance, live theater, film, um, you name it. If, if people get together to participate in it or to enjoy it, uh, it goes on here at the Rialto. So we'd be delighted to have folks come down and, and check us out. We just discovered two wonderful reasons to visit Loveland, Colorado. Plan a day to visit the museum and the Rialto Theater. And while you're here, enjoy the wonderful independently owned restaurants and unique shops that are sure to keep you coming back. The downtown restaurants have their own signature styles and flavors and are all independently owned. So plan a trip to the sweetheart city, Loveland, Colorado. You'll be glad you did. Mm -hmm.